Hey guys, this is Mike Sommerfeld. I just realized that I got so many new followers on my socials and I want to introduce myself. Um, I'm 30 years old, basically from Germany, but traveling since three years. I was living in Mexico, Dubai and Spain for the last few months. And uh, yeah, I want to talk about my experience and my true feelings about the Olympia, what happened yesterday. And uh, we had the chance to sit down today and reflecting everything what happened yesterday at the Mr. Olympia in Las Vegas, 2024, the 60th anniversary. And uh, first of all, I need to thank you guys the love, the support, all the messages I get is absolutely overwhelming. It still feels like a movie. Many people ask me, hey Mike, how do you feel? And honestly, I had no answer because I had no chance to sit down and just reflecting how I feel, what happened. And uh, you can imagine you just saw a movie in the cinema and uh, people ask you, how was the movie? And you say, yeah, it was great, happy ending. And then you, you just go on, like it was a movie and it still feels like a movie. It still feels very unreal. The more I think about it, the more I talk about it, the more I'm realizing that we made it to be top two in the world. And guys, we're talking about 54 of the world's best classic physique athletes battling on stage. You, it's really, really hard to explain what happens inside my heart right now. I can feel so much happiness, so much love, so much support, which is, the emotion is just so big and intense that I personally don't know how to, how to take that. It's, it's a lot. I enjoy every second of it, believe me. I'm getting emotional again. Mm. Yeah, so basically Chris retired and he had an amazing journey. He changed classic physique. He is now the standard for classic physique in the future and coming to the realization that he's not competing anymore puts me in a position where People are hunting me right now. They chasing me because technically I'm the next guy next to Chris Bumstead. Can you imagine? This is, this is really intense. And guys, I heard that many people said you could it was not Chris and everybody else. It was Chris and you. It was closer than people expected. And I saw the scorecards. It was basically three points. So some, some judges had me in first place, which is absolutely unbelievable. Secondly, we made history. Dennis James called me today and he said, Mike, do you know that, uh, that, that you made history? And I didn't really know what he meant. He said, no German ever plays top two at the Olympia. And then I, I, thought what he, I thought about what he said and he's right. This is so intense and all these emotions, all these informations just 
rushed into my head in the last 24 hours. I did not check social media pretty much where we, <laughs> I tried to answer every, every message, but it's so, guys, it's incredible. Absolutely, I'm, I'm speechless. Now, I have no idea what to say. Um, there's one more thing I need to tell you. I did not want to win yesterday because as Chris said, pressure is a privilege and being a champion doesn't mean to hold a trophy or have a sandal or winning competitions. Being a champion is something different. With great power comes great responsibility. And you need to have your tools ready to be a champion. And I don't feel right now that I have the tools ready to be the champion, to be the face of classic physique to lead this division. But my next big thing, my next chapter is to learn and develop these skills to be a champion in every aspect. Being a champion in family, being a champion in bodybuilding, being a champion in being a good person, being a good human, being champion in business, being champion of health, being champion of every aspect which is important and I need to learn, I need to develop and I need to talk to people and learn from them how to create these tools but I have such a great support system around me my wife, my dad, everybody supporting me I just feel so much love and support it feels absolutely amazing. I know how it feels when there's no spotlight. I know how it feels when there's no one asking for you, when there's no money. I know exactly how it feels to sleep on the floor, have nothing to eat, no clothing. I grew up not as a very poor kid, but We had to eat, yeah, when I was a child, my parents were not making big money and my mom, she tried to, yeah, do everything. So there was not much money around. So we had the chance to buy clothing once a year, a new pair of shoes every, every two years. We had basically rice and ketchup to eat for many, many days or noodles and ketchup because we just did not have the money to buy good food. And now the kid, the, the 11 year old little boy who dreamt being an Olympia athlete one day, competing next to the best, best, best athletes became reality. I'm still in the position of this little kid sitting on his protein powder yeah, box. And I basically, I had no bed, right? So I just had a mattress put on my protein powder boxes and I was sleeping on my protein powders because I had no money to buy a bed. And I'm still the kid sitting on his protein powder boxes, dreaming big, reading the magazines. And there was no Facebook, there was no Instagram or YouTube. So the only thing we had was the magazines, Ronnie Coleman, Jay Cutler, Johnny Jackson, Branch Warren, all these guys, Phil Heath, Kai Green, Flex Lewis. And now people 
shake my hand like Flex Lewis, like Kai Green, like all the guys I was following when I was younger. They inspired me, they motivated me. This is what bodybuilding is for me still. And now they know my name, they shake my hand, they talk to me and I, I just can't realize that everything I was dreaming became reality yesterday. But now, as I said, with great power comes great responsibility. And this is my job right now, becoming the champion, being the champion and being a good leader, be inspirational, motivate people, bring people together. Because, you know, bodybuilding for me is just one thing. We're all on the same page. Bodybuilding means you work for something you want to achieve. You work for goals. You work for something better. And it doesn't matter if you are bench pressing, squatting, practicing, whatever. As long as you work hard for, for your dream and you're dedicated, you're passionate, that means we are on the same page. It doesn't matter if you want to lose weight at the gym. It doesn't matter if you want to build muscle. We want to change ourselves. We want to get better. And that means we are not different at all. We're doing the same thing. And we need to support each other. Everyone. And I see so many people enter the gym the first time and they're like a little bit uncomfortable. They don't feel well because maybe you're overweight and you see all these people looking super nice, fit, and you don't feel quite comfortable. And I want to see people open their heart and shake their hands and introduce them to the gym because every one of us tries to become better. And this brings us to the same page. I want more love and support because we're doing the same thing. This is my mission. This is how I want to be a champion. I want to bring people together. I want to, I just want to be the guy who loves bodybuilding, who shares his emotion, his experience, and just be, you know, helpful inspirational, motivational. So it was an amazing prep. I spent every second with my wife, every cardio, every walk, every workout session. And I need to tell you, my wife, she's an absolutely beast. You might not know, but everything you see on social media, the videos, YouTube, Instagram, interviews, all the cutting, we do it by ourselves. She's, she was cutting every day. We released videos every day. She was working so hard and she was supporting me on top of that. She took care that I'm not stressed out too much. She cooked my food. She was there for me when I was emotional, not that strong. Guys, she's, she's amazing. She's a beast. My dad came over from Germany. He helped and supported me, especially the last few days, pushed me and motivated me when we were working out and I was tired. He tanned me before we went on stage. And imagine my dad, he competed 30 years ago and he never made it to be a pro. He never made it to the Olympia. And now as his son, I have the chance to bring excitement to his life and invite him to Las Vegas to be part of the Olympia, to be part of the journey, to be a dad, to do what dads want to do. If there's one thing 
as a dad is you want to support your kids in so many aspects. And he did that. He's such a great guy. And you guys don't know that, but he tried to kill himself many times. And that's not an easy story. I, wanna, I don't want to deep dive in that, but I can tell you a few years ago, he didn't show up for weeks. I haven't seen him. I didn't know if he's still alive. He did not answer any messages. Nobody has seen him and he locked himself at home and I called him and I said, Dad, I need your help. I'm close to a competition. I'm, I'm so tired. I'm exhausted. I, I, I can't do it. I, I need to give up. And he's like, Mike, what time are you at the gym? I'll be there. I'm just, a part, I don't train, but I will be there with you. And I was like, okay, wait, he's about to kill himself because his depression is so intense right now, but supporting his son is even bigger. Oh, this gives me goosebumps. So you can imagine how important this is for me with my wife, with my dad, and especially with Neil Hill, my coach, he's more family than a coach and you know guys that he's probably the best coach in the world so imagine what a friend what a mentor what family he is to me he he's he's like basically my uncle <laughs> so you you can imagine how many emotions going through my mind right now it's time to become the champion. It's time to create the skills I need to have ready to be a good leader, to be a good role model, especially. I know that people watching the socials, YouTube, and all that comes with responsibility. And I want to make sure that I'm a positive part of everyone and everyone's journey. So I want to be the guy who's supporting, encourage people and yeah, helping people. That's the new chapter. That's classic physique from 2024. And I'm really looking forward to be the guy one day. We're working hard. We're dedicated, we're in incredible, passionate about bodybuilding. And now it gets even more excited. So thank you guys for watching this. I hope I could introduce myself a little bit to all the people who don't really know me. I'm the German guy called Mike the Badass. Not badass because I'm an unfriendly arrogant guy, badass because I know when it's time to fight. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, just send me a message on Instagram. It's Mike the Badass or just following the channel right here. Bodybuilding journey is not over. There are many competitions coming, seminars in Mexico guest posing in Chicago. Very exciting news. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.